Hi everyone, it's Niall from windowsnoob.com and today I'm going to do a quick video about troubleshooting PKI because if you have multiple labs like me, uh, sooner or later you're going to have to troubleshoot PKI because if your labs are PKI, like I've shown you how to set up in my numerous guides, let's scroll down here and I'll show you where they are. Uh, it's under servers, PKI, here we go. And in there, we've got, uh, I think, an eight-part series, which guides you through setting up PKI from, from scratch. And it is um, basically a setup with an issuing CA, a standalone offline root CA, and a web server. And that is the setup that I use in my labs. And, you know, I... I rotate between labs quite frequently uh, this is a configuration manager lab um, running current branch 2207 and sometimes i want to test out the latest and greatest and i would do that in my technical preview lab which is this one here but right now i've resumed this lab which was offline for perhaps a month or more so because it's a pki based lab that means it's going to have problems and the problems that it will have um, are really evident when you do something like PXC boot or OSD. It will look something like this on the uh, client itself. In other words, it looks like nothing is happening. But if you dig a bit deeper on the uh, server hosting the DP, in this case, my config manager server, and if you look at the SMS PXC log, And that should reveal that the problems are PKI based. And they do. So what we see here is it's complaining about callback status flag cert rev failed. And we can see a lot of that. And that is what happens when a certificates expire in your lab. And remember, this lab has been offline for I don't know how long, quite a bit. Um, and right now, <laughs> yeah, it's been off since August. Wow, quite a bit. Okay, so that's what you will typically see. Um, PXC boot will not work. Um, and that's only one of the things that won't work. So having a working PKI environment is a good idea. So let's see how we can fix it. One of the first things we need to do is go to our issuing CA, fire up something called pkiview.msc. And that will give us an enterprise view of the uh, certificate infrastructure. And as we can see straight away uh, on the issuing CA side, we have four expired certificates, one, two, three, four. And the OCSP location has also got a problem, and that's on the web server. <clears throat> on the root side, all the certs are actually still valid there, which is great. So all we have to do is fix these four expired certs and then things will be uh, a lot better. So the first thing that we can do to speed that along is fire up certservices.msc. And let's restart that service. We'll just stop it first and then we'll start it. We'll see will that resolve some of our four expired certificates. <clears throat> Remember, this is a lab, so you typically won't see this in production. Look at that. <laughs> Everything is solved just like that. Uh, in some cases, it's not going to be that easy, but in this case, it was. Now, the next thing I have to do, or the last thing I have to do in this particular case, is uh, restart my web server. Um, that's hosting the o OCSP role, uh, and I'm going to restart that now. Just load on to it first. There's probably a better way to fix the OCSP error. In fact, just waiting a day, I, I, I know we'll fix it. But uh, if you want things up and running quicker than that, just restart the web server itself or the server hosting that. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to restart the web server.
Okay, now it's up and running. And if we go back to the issuing CA, uh, we're trying to fix this particular error here. Let's check it. Look at that, fixed. That was real easy. Um, in a way, I was kind of hoping that uh, we would get an expired cert on the issuing CA that would, uh, would not uh, fix itself. And in that case, uh, if you do get a case like that, you can um, run the following command, try it on your issuing CA at least, and that is search util CRL. And that is if you've got an expired cert on the uh, issuing CA that does not get solved by just simply restarting certificate services. Okay, so that's pretty much it. The last thing I want to show you is um, prove to you that we can PXE boot. Let's try that. Off it goes. And look at that. PXE boot is now working. And if we look at the SMS PXE log, we should see that all the red is now gone and it's providing certificates and it's happy. So that is basically, in a nutshell, what I do when my lab has been offline for a month or more. In this case, it was offline for two months, and I was lucky. All I had to do was restart search services and restart the web server. If you've got any tips uh, from a PKI point of view, I don't claim to be an expert. I use it. Um, if you've got any tips to make this even easier, let me know or let the others know by posting a comment in this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.